please pause for a moment of silent reflection. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. In the morning. Good morning, Jaguars. Welcome back to another episode of Jaguar News. I'm your host, Hadley. And I'm Alicia. And today we're diving into something special, Flourishing Fridays. That's right, folks. Our school counselors are bringing a new cool thing to Webridge Middle School called Flourishing Fridays. But Alicia, what exactly does that mean? Flourishing Fridays are all about taking care of our mental health and well-being. Our school counselors want to make sure that every Jaguar feels supported and equipped to handle the challenges of school and life. I'm struggling with school and I'm depressed. <laughs> well, then you got to come to Flourishing Fridays. <laughs> it's simple. Every Friday, we're encouraged to take some time to check in with ourselves, reflect on our feelings, and engage in activities that promote mental wellness. Whether it's practicing mindfulness, journaling about our thoughts and feelings, or simply reaching out to a friend for support, Flourishing Fridays are all about finding what works best for you. And here's the best part. You're not alone in this journey. Our amazing school counselors are here to support us every step of the way. So let's embrace Flourishing Fridays as an opportunity to prioritize self-care, build positive habits, and create a supportive community here at Webbridge Middle School. Welcome to our first Flourishing Friday where we are going to reset your mood. So if you ever get these kind of feelings, anxiety, frustration, you feel stressed or bored, or you just think it's a bad day, I'm going to give you some resources to help you out. Let's start. Focus on your breathing, sitting or standing in your comfort position, and then we're going to use three breathing steps. So take a deep breath for four seconds. Hold your breath for four seconds. Release your breath for six seconds. Describe your mood. Another helpful way to calm yourself down from anxiety or stress. Reframe your thinking. Think about, can the issue that you're upset about be solved? What are some pros? What are some cons? Take a break from social media or just your phone in general. When you're in a bad mood, avoiding that overload from your phone can be very helpful to distract you. Let go of what you can't control. So last but not least, kind of summing it all up, resetting your mood checklist. Focus on your breathing. Take a second to take a few breaths and calm down from a situation. Describe your mood. Think about what's really bothering you. Reframe your thinking. Think about how you could change the situation to make your day be better. Take a break from your phone. Pay more attention and be present. Let go of what you can't control. Take a deep breath. It's just a bad day, not a bad life. Do you want to join Jaguar News Club? Please come along for our information meeting. It's next Friday, March 22nd at 8 a.m. We'll see you there in my room, which is 408. March Reading Madness. In March Reading Madness, there are different brackets for young adult books, middle school books, and even manga and graphic novels. This is not mandatory. You can choose to participate. Predict who the winning author will be between the authors in each bracket page. After everyone who wants to participate predicts their author, there will be a school-wide vote for the different authors. So, out of the 16 authors on the bracket, one day we will vote for eight, and the next day will be the other eight, 
and so on until we get a champion. You have to be careful though, because even if you guess all of the authors correct through the final game, and you guess the champion wrong, you will unfortunately be eliminated from the competition. The winners will also get great prizes. Ireland's tourism reputation precedes itself, so first-time visitors might think they know what to experience. Gape at the windswept coast of County Cork. Consider nature's power from the striking cliffs of Moher, and relish the mythical mountains, beaches, and lakes of the Ring of Kerry. Experience for yourself Celtic culture and mysticism. Despite common misconceptions, the iconic shamrock image is in fact not the national symbol of Ireland, nor is the phrase the luck of the Irish in any way a representative. Instead, Ireland has adopted the Celtic harp, claiming its place as the national symbol. The oldest known harp in existence is housed in Trinity College, Dublin. It dates back to at least 1300. Ireland is a snake-free island. Due to its isolation from the European mainland, Ireland lacks several species common elsewhere in Europe, such as moles, weasels, polecats, or roe deer. Hook Lighthouse is thought to be one of the oldest working lighthouses in Europe or possibly the world. Located at Hook Head in County Wexford, the present structure was completed either in 1172 or 1245, although the first lighthouse on that spot dates back to the 5th century. The first three days of April are called the Irish Borrowed Days, and are associated with bad weather. This derives from an old legend where a mythical cow boasted about March being unable to kill her. The result was that March borrowed three days of terrible weather from April to try and finish the cow off. In the Irish tricolor flag created in 1848, there is symbolism behind each color as being that of green, representing the Gaelic tradition of Ireland, orange, representing the followers of William of Orange in Ireland, and white, representing the aspiration for peace between them. The construction of New Grange, Arguably the world's oldest astronomical observatory is a feat of precision engineering, made 5,000 years ago by Stone Age people. Yet their observatory marks the turning point of the solar year, and it was built 500 years before the pyramids and 1,000 years before the astronomical alignment at Stonehenge. What is the name of the national symbol of Ireland? Is it A. Shamrock, B. Celtic Harp, or C. The Luck of the Irish?